Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on, guys? So that clip right there was the clip of the crowd that came to watch Terrence Crawford versus Madrimov, a crowd that was saturated with American superstars. The only other fighter that brings out that many superstars, I'm talking about NBA players, football players, actors, et cetera, et cetera, is Javante Tank Davis. With that being said, one of the spectators that was there watching the fight was the legend Julio Cesar Chavez Sr. Senior who admits that Terrence Crawford is pound for pound the best fighter in the world, he was asked to give his take on a possible fight between Canelo Alvarez and Terrence Crawford. And his exact words was bullshit. From where can Crawford beat Canelo? Chavez clearly feels that Crawford has no chance against Canelo Alvarez, and I think a lot of people, they feel the same way, especially after his performance against a much bigger, stronger uh, Madrimov at a higher weight class. Terrence Crawford is 37 years old, and he just moved up to his fourth weight class. And that was the first time I've ever seen Crawford look outweighed. I mean, actually look like the smaller guy in the ring. During the fight, from certain angles, you could just see how much wider uh, Madrimov's back was compared to Crawford's body. So just imagine him moving up two weight classes more. Crawford would be at a massive disadvantage. Now, if Crawford and Canelo were naturally the same weight in the same weight class, Crawford, he would knock out Canelo hands down. But he specializes in knocking out fighters that have never been knocked out before. A lot of them hadn't even been knocked down before. In fact, I'll go even a step further. If Madrimov and Canelo were the same weight naturally in the same weight class, Madrimov, he would beat Canelo Alvarez. Probably stop him. I don't know if he would stop him, but he would definitely beat Canelo. Because Canelo, he's too predictable and he's too flat-footed. I had already told you guys going into this fight that this is going to be a very difficult fight for Terrence Crawford when it comes to Madrimov. This man has over 350 amateur fights. He's from Uzbekistan, which are some of the best amateur fighters. In recent years, next to Cuba, they've been winning the most gold medals. Madrimov, who actually helped Arthur Better Bia prepare for Canelo, he sparred with him, has a very high boxing IQ, as we've seen in the Crawford fight. Although Madrimov didn't really let his hands go that much in the Crawford fight, and the reason why he didn't let his hands go that much, because he knew that Crawford was going to open up with counters and possibly catch him with something and knock him out. He was aware of this. In fact, there were a couple times when Madrimov was actually hurt in a fight, but every time he got hurt, he would tie up Crawford right away, which is pretty ironic because Crawford is the smaller guy, the much smaller guy. You would expect the small guy to be tying up the big guy. That just further shows you how dangerous Crawford is, even at 154, at a weight disadvantage or size disadvantage. But when it comes to Crawford moving up two more weight classes to fight Canelo at 168, that might be too much. Crawford is hands down the better fighter in every department, but he would put himself at a massive disadvantage to move all the way up to 168. Turkey Alashik, he already said that if they can't make the Crawford versus Canelo Alvarez fight, he wants to make Crawford versus Virgil Ortiz which would be a huge fight, especially considering the fact that in the sport of boxing, race sells. That's why I always tell you guys, the sport is based on race, nationality, and pride. This is why Floyd Mayweather made a career beating up Mexican fighters on Mexican holidays, because he knew the Mexicans would come out and support their fighter and actually start to believe that the Mexican fighter has a chance of winning the fight just off of Mexican pride alone. I remember Juan Manuel Marquez, he was asked, why is he gonna beat Floyd Mayweather? And Marquez, he said, I'm gonna beat him because I'm Mexican. And that's the kind of pride that sells a fight. I think when it comes to Terrence Crawford, what he should do, if he's not going to fight against Canelo Alvarez, he should set his sights on being a third division undisputed champion at 154 and then retire. And then you have Jerron Ennis. Jerron is fighting at 147. Now, and I don't think Jerron wants to move up to 154, but if Jerron does move up to 154, I think he should fight for one of the belts. And then once he wins the belt, fight Terrence Crawford for undisputed. Now, if Terrence Crawford was younger, I would say that Jerron Ennis, he should become undisputed at 147, then move up to 154 and fight Terrence Crawford for all the belts. With that being said, I'm going to wrap this video up. That's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one. All right, now check this out, guys. If you're looking to repair eczema scars, burns and bruises, dark spots and blemishes, the fever blisters, diabetic ulcers, this right here is the perfect product for you guys. It's called L.O. Dekey Face and Body Oil. Athletes and top-ranking boxers, they're also using it after training to reduce swelling, inflammation, and to ease the pain. So get yours today. Go to LODekey.com. Like them on Facebook and follow them on Instagram.
Let me tell you guys about Issa Israel Law Firm. It is a full-service legal practice based in Denver, Colorado, an emerging hub for combat sports and high-altitude training. If you're a fighter inside or outside of the ring and you need a law firm you can trust to fight for you, visit thefighterfirm.com or email help at iilawfirm.com. Legal representation is usually limited to plaintiffs or defendants in Colorado, but iFirm can help anyone in the world with trademarking their business name, logos, and U.S. immigration issues. This brother has been my attorney for a while and helped guide me through all kinds of business and civil issues, so make sure you guys go to thefighterfirm.com.